by bringing the institutions together, we will grow our revenues um, more than we require our costs to come down. Global Custodian recently sat down with David Aldrich, a managing director within the new Bank of New York Mellon. Here he tells us about how business has gone post-merger and the prospects he foresees for the new group. The completion of the merger between the Bank of New York and uh, Mellon Corporation uh, took place on the 1st of July and it's uh, very interesting from the perspective of the alternative investment services practice because uh, we now have $182 billion um, under administration which is, uh, depending on statistics, around about five or six largest uh, administrator in the world for hedge funds and uh, we feel it's uh, very much uh, bringing together two sets of competencies to add value for hedge fund managers. Uh, I guess the main difference is that we have an additional uh, service centre in Somerset, New Jersey from the Bank of New York's client's perspective. Um, I think from the uh, legacy Mellon uh, pers uh, client's perspective they're seeing uh, now a global hedge fund offering uh, as the main benefit to them. Uh, in terms of the practical changes, we've really taken advantage of the merger to put together the, uh, you know, a, an improved infrastructure uh, for the clients and to give them a broader uh, access to products. And by what that I mean, uh, more specifically, um, you can now bundle together um, both the hedge fund administration product uh, plus foreign exchange, cash management, and most importantly, uh, corporate trust. Uh, the Bank of New York is the largest provider of uh, corporate trust type services uh, globally and uh, we find increasingly managers looking for perhaps a combination of, of corporate trust and uh, hedge fund administration. Earlier we talked about consolidation in the industry as a whole um, and, and Bank of New York Mellon is right in the midst of that right now. So tell us where you see the future of that. Do you see more happening with your company and with other companies as well? Yes, yeah, so the Bank of New York Mellon Corporation is going to be a consolidator in this industry and we have a track record of both companies, legacy companies, of acquiring uh, books of business and consolidating those onto our platforms. And we see that continuing uh, and that uh, fund servicing uh, is similar to uh, custody servicing in that regard. And we're already seeing uh, this uh, development happening in the industry and we think it's a positive for the clients. Um, why is it a positive for the clients? The clients are able to get um, a higher quality of service and a more consistent service with larger providers. I think the main difference between the Bank of New York Mellon merger and many of the other mergers which have happened in the industry um, is that we see this merger as a revenue synergy play. And this is what the stock market has endorsed with the rising share price of both uh, Mellon Financial and the Bank of New York prior to the merger and the subsequent uh, strong share price performance. The cost synergy number is quite small, the revenue number we're looking for is quite large and really the, the team here are focused on um, how we can use the, the expanded product range to bring value to our clients. And both of the both sets of legacy clients, which is why we're calling this really more of a re revenue synergy play than a cost synergy play. I think that's that's significant.